Welcome back to another episode on Behold Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at a preview of sorts to an open world action adventure coming to a console near you, Doke V. A co-worker asked me to take a look at a trailer and asked me what I thought. All I have to say was, wow, very cute and something that's just not my style or my cup of tea. That was like the first 10 seconds of the trailer. The rest of the trailer really opened my eyes and made me just go, wow, this is really actually gameplay and something that I might really play. My first thought was the Unreal Engine with its photorealistic visuals improved with the Matrix demo, but underneath it all, there is just so much more. It feels like almost every interest I had growing up was thrown into this open world adventure from capturing and releasing monsters like Ghostbusters, traveling like Jet Set Radio, capturing monsters like Pokemon with driving crazy third person action and so much more. Doke V is being developed by Pearl Abyss that is to be released for the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S and for Microsoft Windows in the near future. This South Korean developer is using their Black Space Engine and has had success with their MMO action RPG games like Black Desert for the consoles today. Introduced at Gamescon in 2021, there has been some good coverage, but this has somehow eluded me on the web. This action-packed game looks to pretty much allow the player to play the way they want to play with so many different ways to attack, dodge, and to team up with your uh, DoKV friend. It feels that the developers want to pretty much entice the average player and also the hardcore ones as well with the action looking to be inspired by their past games a la Black Desert. This one looks to take those ideas to the extreme. Growing up with Pokemon and enjoying the television shows, but not really into the video games, I felt this was a great way in implementing action sequences by fighting side by side, just like Astro Chain from Action Gurus at Platinum Games. Any way you look at it, action here looks to be flashy, simple, and also strategic, and of course, fun. With so many ways to attack in combat, it makes the game that much more serious than the visual coat of paint the game gives you, and boy, does it look good. The photorealistic environments are crisp and clear, and level design is of the real world and yet still believable to be another. My hope is that the game is a serious performer and ensures the balance of performance and visuals go hand in hand. I would love to have them dial back just a bit to hit that special 60 frames per second, but honestly, these visuals truly impress. Next Gen is here, and I can't see why Cross Generation can now move forward with TOKB and is an example of what is to come. Of course, this is just a trailer that gets you riled up, and boy, does it do its job. How you befriend different DoKV buddies is up to the air, and how you can customize the way you fight is also a question that needs answering. The good news is, the developers intend to have a unique story behind all the madness that you see on screen as you meet, befriend, and fight with fellow DoKVs. As you progress further and further, the questions and DoKV you find become more important to the campaign story. But once that's done, I'm looking at the multiplayer carrying the player to branch into other missions and story arcs with other players involved. There looks to be so much that this game offers and is super bright, colorful, action packed, and almost everything an open world action adventure could ask for. This truly can be the first Pokemon type game that I will play just because of how visually stunning it really looks. That's it for me on this preview look at DoKV coming soon to consoles and on PC. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. Damn. Uh. Yeah.